Okay, today hopefully I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Uh, I'm David Anderson and I'm going to introduce to you the Project Explorer extension for Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. I'm not sure if it'll work on earlier versions. Um, this is my first extension I've published and so if you've ever wished you had a better way to find, organize, and open your solution files in Visual Studio rather than uh, context switching to Windows Explorer constantly, that's kind of the intent of this extension. So here I have the Project Explorer tool window. You can get to it by going to View, Other Windows, and Project Explorer. And that will add the tool window to your workspace. Once you're in there, it does require some simple configuration. And so one of the reasons I built this is a lot of different people, especially myself, organize our projects with a certain folder structure. So as an example, I have some projects here in my file system, and I'll just use the Project Explorer as an example. Uh, I typically will have, you know, in like Subversion uh, or TFS land, I'll have a branches folder, a dev folder, main, and that's my branching strategy. And I might have different branching projects in there. And then my actual project structure, uh, let me show you a better one than that, will typically be build, uh, that's my build output, the code directory, dependencies, which might be non-NuGet based, uh, .NET assembly files, documentation for the project, and then test library output that can be picked up easily by a build server. And so that's one project structure, but when you're dealing with version control systems or you have a lot of different projects, you might have them nested within different branch folders as well. Um, not as typical if you're using something like Git or you're using the switch feature. But anyway, so the point of this is using this, we can configure this to find those projects and organize them and display them inside the Project Explorer. And so you can switch between them in Visual Studio without opening multiple instances, especially if you're working on multiple branches where you have multiple workspace environments set up. And so it's really simple. Uh, we just type in here, you know, I can go my path to my project. I'm gonna do a semicolon space that worked out the nitty gritty syntax uh, things here. And then you can specify kind of what the, your project structure would typically look like. So let's say, you know, inside your folder, the first folder would typically be maybe the name um, of your project. So you might want to group that. Um, let me pull up some examples here. So group project. And so, you know, if we go back out here, We've got basically the name of the project, so that is how we want to group it by. Then we know that we might have inside there, let's use the Project Explorer, we might have a branches folder. And then we also know that inside there we might actually have the name of the project. And then we know we have a code directory. And then at the end of the day, we have a solution file uh, as part of the path. And so if we dive into here, you can see how that structure plays out. So we've got the group name, branches, project name, code directory, and then the solution file. And so once you have that set up, then you can go ahead and save that and refresh, and it will actually find and organize those projects into the Project Explorer for you. And you can configure as many of these as you need. So like a typical branching strategy, in my case, my also I need to pick uh, these things up here where I've got dev and main and so I can simply um, basically say group then project um, code and SLN and so if I go ahead and save that and refresh now you can see it picked up quite a bit more on my local uh, file system and so now I have all of my solution files for that particular project organized in the in the tool window and so, you know, another aspect of this is, you know, if you configure a lot of different projects, maybe you have a couple hundred of them um, between everything, you can also come in here and pin some of your most used projects to the top of the Project Explorer. And to open a project, it, you know, it's really simple. You're just going to double click. It doesn't matter if it's pinned or not, and that will open it uh, in Visual Studio for you and switch you over to the Solution Explorer where you can begin coding. So that's the Project Explorer extension. Um, there are a couple other smaller features. Uh, you can, you know, just some minor things. 
uh, collapse. If, like I said, if you have a large tree of projects, um, all the configurations are real time. So you just configure and refresh. And then there is some uh, pretty minimal search capabilities, uh, but it is in there, uh, which I plan to improve a little bit over time. Right now, the searching primarily will look for your actual solution file names that you've uh, told the Project Explorer to utilize. So if I search for main, you're going to get those pulled up. If I search for dev, you're going to get those pulled up. So that's the Project Explorer extension. You can find it uh, on the Visual Studio Marketplace. So if you go out there, let's go ahead and pull that up really quickly. So you can find it couple different ways but if you search for project explorer you will find that out there for you to download and give a try so let me know what you think if you like it uh, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to uh, you know uh, rate the, the extension and if you have questions uh, don't hesitate to ask or if you have ideas for feature enhancements and things like that um, if you do find bugs let me know about those as well thanks